Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to ask you guys, should you change your app icon for the holidays? All right, so on my last video, I talked a little bit about an event I went to last week called Decode London, which was uh, thrown on by App Annie. And, my, and on last Friday, I made a video just saying how I went there and I was kind of disappointed that I didn't see any, uh, I didn't meet any indie app developers. I mean, there may have been some there, but I didn't meet any. But I didn't talk about any of the stuff that the speakers talked about. And yeah, a lot of the stuff didn't really apply. I didn't really find it very earth shattering, although there was some good information there. But there was something really interesting said by one of the speakers. So one of the speakers, a part of a panel actually, was uh, Mark Sorrell from uh, from Rovio. He's the head of studio at Rovio. So he, you know, there were he, it was him and um, and somebody from a, like a financial application, I think it was, and they were talking about different ways of getting people to re-engage with the application and some of the things that they do, right? And first of all, when I heard Rovio, I kept thinking. With, with the Apple 4.3 guidelines, if they're gonna be like penalized for Angry Birds space and all these other different Angry Birds versions that they're gonna have to have a container app, but that's beside the point. I, yeah, I'll be watching, I'll be watching because I don't think the big companies are gonna be affected as much as us smaller companies by the change in Apple guidelines recently. But anyway, one of the things he said, I mean, it sounds so obvious really. He said, you know, one thing we do know about our users is that if they're not in our application, then they're not spending money on our products, right? Or they're not spending money. Something to that, I'm paraphrasing, right? Which is an obvious thing to say, actually. So, so when, I, when I talk about apps, I'm usually concerned with acquisition. I'm, us, I'm concerned with getting people in and getting new users because, my, like I've talked about before, my user retention is actually pretty low. People will use it you know, a few times, usually like when they're, you know, when they're going through and cleaning out their phone and trying to claim some disk space. What my apps are usually some of the first to go, I think, you know, it's just, um, you know, I don't work really hard at re-engaging them. And there's, you know, we talked before about like different ways of re-engaging clients, like, or re-engaging your users. Once they get that install, like you could do stuff like push notifications and things like that. But he was talking about how, you know, they do the, the seasonal thing. So he said, he said something funny. He said, you may notice that your iPhone screen looks all orange now because of Halloween and everybody's updating their icons to, for Halloween themes. And he said, they're doing the same thing too because you, know, you want users to be able to look at their phone and see if your app has been updated, that, oh, there's a new icon, it catches your eye and they remember it's there and they go back into it, which was really, which, which is something that I was thinking about because the first thing I, when I hear that kind of stuff, I think, is that something I could do? Is that something that, that would work? And to be honest with you, I've never really done any seasonal icons. I, we, we've done a little bit of seasonal stuff for other things like the YouTube channel. We haven't done anything for Halloween, right? Or, um, you know, for our Facebook page and all that kind of stuff, but never with the apps because, you know, it just re requires, you know, putting a new version out there, but it might be something that's worthwhile, especially with Halloween coming up a week away. It's probably too late for Halloween, but you know, you got Christmas and all this kind of stuff. So my question to you guys, and this is, you know, I don't really have much to say on this, you know, I was almost not going to talk about it because I've never done this. But my question to you guys is, have you done anything with seasonal icons? Have you released seasonal updates to your applications to try to get new users? Has it worked with measuring it? Have you been able to find that, you know, pays off in any way? Uh, and, you know, and really, I just want to see whether or not asking you guys, you know, the community, the app community, if you're watching this, have you done something like this? Has it worked? Is it something to consider or is it something that's a lot of time and not a lot of benefit? So anyway, that's it for today. I'm going to talk to you guys tomorrow.